Hey everybody, and welcome to the next Three Ways in Flame. Now this one's gonna be on Three Ways in Flame to replace media, and this applies to replacing media inside of batch or batch effects. So once we're, uh, this isn't speaking in terms of conforming and unlinking and relinking, purely from a batch perspective. So let's have a look at uh, ways to do this inside a batch. So again, it's not about the setups for this, but for, again, the concept of what um, what's trying to be explained. So there's three, you know, maybe four, but I'm going to show three. There's three ways you can um, replace media inside a batch. Now, the first one is obviously the most obvious. Say, say this source clip here is being swapped out and, you know, we want to, you know, swap it out, say, with this noise clip. So I'm just going to pull that noise clip out. I'm going to put it in front of it. You know, you can unpipe it and just repipe it in. Okay, that's one way to replace your media. Again, it's not very efficient, but it is, you know, a way. Sometimes you do like that way too if you have multiple connections or you want to keep the source. And what I mean by keeping the source, if um, if I repipe that guy in and just throw that away. Um, so let's look at the second way to replace media. So the second way is a feature that was added, I believe, in anniversary. Um, I may be wrong. Is being able to just drag over here, and you see we get this little. It's going to overwrite and replace it. So if I hover over him and let go. You see what it's done. Um, the first thing that is unfortunate with this is it's completely uh, killed the old clip. But again, it's great. It's um, it's taken into account. Um, you know, our guy and swapped it out for us. I'm just going to undo, and it actually unpipes the, the connection when you undo. That's just a an annoying thing. Um, the other thing to keep into account too when you do it this way, which is pretty handy, is um, if we do have timing offsets when we do um, swap out media this way. And I'll just, again, I'm just going to pull that over and drop it in. You see it keeps and takes into account the timing offsets, which is pretty handy. So that's, you know, one valid way. Um, if you want to do it kind of gesturally and see what's happening, that's a, a good way to um, replace your media. So I'm going to open this guy as a sequence. The second way to replace media too, um, and this sometimes can be handy if you're just wanting to compare two to what you had, is by opening it as a sequence, going to timeline, and again, just let's go to the first frame and say, if I copy this noise on top, let's just say for this example that this noise was an updated 3D render. This is a handy way to replace the media from the timeline, but again, while in context of um, a batch, because you can quickly compare um, just to make sure that a change has been made. And then when you're done, you could throw away the base layer. Again, um, it's not for everybody, um, but I actually quite like that way sometimes because it gives me the most control when um, when I'm doing it and I'm able to version up and down um, just from a seeing what's changed, um, which is pretty handy. Now the second way um, to, to version up or to replace your media inside a batch is this, I'm using two other examples. So this first one is a read node and the second one is an import node, which actually behaves the exact same way as this node here. You see, you can tell it's an import node because it has the, the front, the mat and the audio, whereas this is just a normal import through Media Hub. Now, for this, uh, the read node, um, again, uh, we can replace this guy out and swap it out. Um, there's a little confusion too out there. Um, a lot of people have said that the, um, the alt and the shift double click mechanism doesn't work. And watch, if I do it right now, yes, it doesn't work. Um, and that's actually because um, it has to be in the actual view to get there. So to make, to make that make sense, um, if I do the alt double click again, alt shift double click, Again, it's taking me to right now to the to the node's source media attributes, and that's where you have to be for that to work. So you can get there really easily just by um, selecting the clip and pressing Control and Tab, and you see it takes me there. And now if I Alt and then Shift and then double click, you see now it's going to load up to to back to the source. So I could load in and replace my media out that way. Could load it as a version if I liked. So that's again um, specific to the the read node. If I am um, if I just Alt double click. When that's loaded, it's um, you see, it's not alt double click will do the same thing, but it's also also worth noting that when using an import node. So again, this is our third way. This is where um, it's the best of both worlds. So if I select this again, a regular import node, press Control Tab to load it up to its source um, attributes, and then I alt double click on it. You see what it's done, and that is it's taking me to the timeline. It, was, it should have been a shift double click if you, uh, sorry about that. So if I shift double click, you see now it's loaded up. Um, someone who's a older smoke vet will remember this. This is the old um, way you could kind of add inputs in action and stuff like that. So now if I want to swap this out, I just click on my front 
and now it's swapped that out. Um, again, so I'm just gonna undo. Again, so if I just Alt, and again, it's not gonna work if, unless you have this guy selected, Control Tab, and then if I Alt and double click, sorry, Shift double click, there you go. Now I can um, quickly you know, swap something out from a desktop, or um, if I had that open over there, if I do show, I could load up another desktop and just swap it out with something else and replace or you know, swap out my media in batch. Now, the cool thing again, like I said, with this import node is we get the best of both worlds. So just like the read node, if I hold, again, it's shift double click to swap out from the desktop or another desktop or library. If I hold alt and shift and then double click, it gives us what we get from the read node, which is the ability to load it in and swap it out from there. So again, uh, Hopefully that makes sense, a little bit to take in. Um, again, uh, it depends on your workflow. Um, there's Python scripts too you can do to do kind of watch folders, but this is more from a, a human intervention way of three ways to, uh, you know, to replace your media inside of a batch. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.